last week was a, a big, big week uh, for NASA. NASA, uh, you know NASA, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the island uh, in the Bahamas that launches rockets. And um, no, I'm kidding. It stands for the National Asteroid and Space Aliens Department. <laughs> On Thursday, they successfully landed their Perseverance rover on Mars. How about that? We're on Mars now. It was the same day that Ted Cruz landed unsuccessfully in Cancun. <laughs> Not as successful. The Perseverance rover traveled through space at, get this, 24,600 miles per hour. That's more than twice as fast as I drive to work every day. <laughs> It launched in July, so it took over six months to get there, almost twice as long as it takes me to get to work when the freeway is backed up. <laughs> Obviously, the scientists at NASA were thrilled when the rover landed successfully. This is their reaction in the control room. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. It's so weird. I mean, I think that's what control rooms do, because that's how excited my control room gets when I successfully land a joke. This is a clip. Uh, we just picked a random one. This is one from my last week. A few weeks ago, scientists discovered a dinosaur in South America that may have been the largest animal that ever lived. It was 130 feet long, and it weighed over 110 tons. That dinosaur was so fat, it would wake up on both sides of the bed. <laughs> The woman who announced the successful Mars rover landing is Swati Mohan, and she's an Indian-American scientist who has been working on this Mars project for years. What an awesome, brilliant woman she is. How about that? She says that she was inspired to pursue a career uh, with NASA by watching Star Trek. And I was inspired to pursue a career in Southern California by watching Bay Baywatch. <laughs> They're, they're not cheering in the control room right now, because that, they're all, they have their heads down going, oh, we wanted to high five. The Perseverance rover is uh, now going to, you know what, I'm going to do it again. It's a funny joke. Go back. Let's go. OK. I was inspired, no, the other one landed, Betsy. I was inspired to pursue a career in Southern California by watching Baywatch. <laughs> They're going crazy in there? Can you hear them on the head? I can't hear. OK. The Perseverance rover is now going to explore a dried out lake bed on Mars and look for signs of life. It also has a small robotic helicopter. So if we find life, we can start charging them $11 for helicopter rides. <laughs> that seems like a fair price. Mars is actually easy to see from Earth right now. If you look up at night, so there's the, the moon, and then uh, there's a little red dot next to the moon. That's, that's Mars. And then uh, a little tiny silver dot on the red dot is the Perseverance rover. <laughs> and then the teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teensiest, tiniest white dot above the silver dot is the helicopter. 